We're here at uh, Dobo Republic on, uh, in Wareham, Massachusetts on the Cranberry Highway. Um, it is a Filipino food truck. Uh, been around for a while now, a couple years. Uh, their food is pretty phenomenal. We usually stop here uh, a couple times a season. Um, the food portions are out of control. So I got the pan seat, which anybody that's not familiar with pan seat, it's a stir fried noodle with fish sauce and lemongrass and it's really, really tasty. Um, they have new bowls, which are comes with chicken and their lumpia, which is like their Filipino meat egg rolls, uh, but more like a spring roll. So this is the size of the bowl. It's insane. I can't even pick it up. I mean, this is as big as my head if you look at it. There's got to be two or three uh, chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs, which they marinate in like a teriyaki, almost like an adobo spiced rub or marinate. Um, it has onions, uh, vegetables, cabbage in it. Um, really good. Prices ain't bad for the portions that you get. It's crazy. Um, we also they started carrying something new, calamansi, which if you're not familiar is a um, is a Asian equivalent to like a lime. Nothing's supposed to ever taste like it though. It's very very original. You can't get it here state stateside, at least on the East Coast. Uh, very perishable, but she happened to find and make her own lemonade. Uh, I'm gonna be giving this a try as well, and uh, let's see how everything tastes. As you can see, the noodles are like glass noodles. I forget what they're called, but they are really, this is super hot. As you can see, I'm gonna get nice and close. See the noodles, chicken, some cabbage in there, a lot of spice. You just smell it, it smells really good. Mmm. That is really good, super fresh. Very hot. They look like just little pieces of peanut on, on the chicken scallions onions that is tasty i mean this has got to be like a like a three pound bowl it's it's massive they call it make a meal but it really does make a meal i'm gonna try one of the uh lumpias which are these crispy meat little spring rolls watch well, listen to that crunch mm. unlike like typical spring rolls you get these don't have tons of vegetables they're actually like a spiced pork, almost like a, a texture of like a meatball inside. Really crispy, light. Mmm. It's really good. So I'm going to eat some of this. I'm going to try my calamansi lemonade. I'll let you guys know how that tastes too. She said it tastes exactly like fresh calamansi. But let's see. Never had it before. Really excited to try it. Wow. I can't even describe it. If you've ever had something like cross between like a Cara Cara orange and then and if you had um, Meyer lemons, it's very, 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 and there's no, there's no, there's no orange in it, but it has like a citrus, almost like an orange flavor. Mm. That's really good. So we do have an empanada, but they are blazing hot. So I'm going to finish up, have some more, and then we'll try the empanada. I'll let you know how that is too. It's handleable now. It still feels a little hot. They do have an, their special empanada sauce, which I just tried a little on my finger. It's almost like a chili chili mayo. Um, first things first, I'm actually gonna see if I can break this open. Mm, maybe I'll just take a bite. Probably a better idea. First bite, no sauce. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. So anybody growing up in an urban city like I did in New Bedford, y'all know what bodegas are. Little corner stores, they sell everything from bootleg DVDs to hot food plates. This tastes like an empanada from my childhood. That is so good. Super fresh, super crispy, light. See, well seasoned beef. I mean, if you're gonna take another bite. Mm. Pretty, pretty meaty, you can see in there. I'm gonna try to dip with the sauce. Mm. Mm. So that sauce itself adds a nice little creaminess to it. They do have the hamburger, it looks like hamburger or meat. It's a beef flavor, so it does have olives in it. Green olives, a little pimento. So far, 10 out of 10, folks. If you're ever up here in Wareham, it's about a 25 minute drive from us. And even then it's worth it. 
It's uh, East Wareham on Cranberry Highway. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll put their, uh, their um, link and their address. And if you want to try them out, everything's super, super fresh, super good. The owner's an awesome, awesome, awesome lady. We've met her through the years, uh, you know, because she knows us coming up here. Support local. She does events uh, coming, I think, May 5th. There's an Asian uh, fair coming at um, in Cambridge, Mass. You'll see all the info on her page as well and on her link. Follow her on Facebook, Adobo Republic Wayham. This has been Ron Eats. Keep on eating.